Once upon a time, Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar were considered the best three footballers in the world. And while the position of first and second remained a huge debate between Messi and Ronaldo fans, everyone agreed that these two were better than Neymar. But if there is one area Neymar Jr. can claim to be ahead of those two, it's definitely flair, well, and style, and weird decisions off the pitch. The Brazilian has been front and centre of many of the craziest stories involving footballers, and what's even more crazy is that there always seems to be a camera somewhere to record him. Here are the top 10 weirdest things Neymar has done off the football pitch. Number 1. Neymar rapping to a beat Yes, we all know that this is not new to footballers, given that many have even released rap music in the past, but there is something eerily funny about Neymar doing it. The flow itself was not half bad, but we suspect that his true talents may lay somewhere else, and we guarantee that it's not the next thing in this list. Number 2. He had a cameo in Money Heist as if the show wasn't popular enough, the producers decided to bring in Neymar to play the grand role of Monk Zhao, episodes 6 and 8 of the third season. What impact his role had in the overall plot of the series is being debated to this day, but from what we saw, most of it was for fan service, or better yet, Neymar service. Perhaps we may have liked it a bit more if he was given better lines. I don't like football or parties. It was really weird to hear from the best player Brazil currently has. But hey, that's just our opinion. Evidently, other production companies disagree, as you will soon see. Number 3. He appeared in Triple X Return of Xander Cage. To be frank, the movie itself was very weird and all over the place. People died and then were later revealed to have miraculously escaped fatal explosions. One of them was Neymar, who in the opening scene was on the verge of being recruited by Samuel L. Jackson's character in a restaurant as the next Triple X. After strangely turning him down in Portuguese, the restaurant was attacked by an armed robber who was in the end flattened out after Neymar kicked a tissue can at his head. They were then fatally blown up by a falling satellite, only to return in the last scenes of the movie to save the day. I don't know how much of this narration is even making sense. You might just have to watch the movie for yourself. If you do, approach it with an open mind and the lowest of expectations. Number 4. He appeared in a bizarre boxing match against Cristiano Ronaldo. Normally, when fans see Neymar and Ronaldo in one video, it's followed by excitement and raging debates about their time in Spain. This video, however, left many fans scratching their heads in confusion as to what they were witnessing. The two football stars can be seen in the video warming up before their match while donning boxing gloves and shorts. A man who appears to be the referee then appears and seems to give the two orders before the two sides resume fighting. Soon after, Neymar strategically moves to the corner of the ring and starts swerving in anticipation of Ronaldo's punches. But the whole thing immediately reaches an anticlimax when the scene cuts to them wearing Lucha Libre masks, laughing at each other as they horseplay with the public. Later, it will be discovered that the pair were actually promoting Mayo, a Portuguese mobile network. Well, you can't knock the pair of them for the bad writing, but choosing to take part is a very big L in our books. At number 5 is something Neymar has become notorious for, missing matches and attending parties. But our focus here is a particular day of each year. On that day, Neymar has consistently made himself unavailable for selection, whether through injury or suspension. Can you guess which day it is? Yep, it's his sister's birthday on the 11th of March. From Barcelona to PSG, the star man has always held huge parties in honour of his dear sister, and if there is a league or cup match around that time, you can bet your bottom dollar that Neymar won't be playing. In March 2015, he got yellow card suspensions that ruled him out of the following league fixture with Rayo Vallecano just three days before Rafaela's birthday. Barcelona's management didn't hesitate to allow him to return to Sao Paulo for her party. Little did they know that the Brazilian ace would go on to make the trip to his homeland a yearly event. Next year, he got another suspension and went to the party again in Brazil. In his final season at Camp Nou, it was an abductor injury that this time ruled him out of contention in March of 2017, but apparently it couldn't rule him out of the birthday party. Ever since moving to PSG, injuries around that time of the season continued and Neymar has continuously been left to party his heart out and celebrate with his sister every year. Soon enough, the media caught on to the pattern and questioned whether he had a secret clause in his contract that allowed him such comfort. Perhaps we might reveal that answer in another documentary. Number 6. He trolled himself with the Neymar Challenge 
For those of you who remember the 2018 World Cup, Neymar's antics were a very hot topic over the summer. Time and time again, he dived at every opportunity and screamed in pain over the slightest contact, only to get up seconds later. So, after Brazil were dumped out of the competition, fans across the world started recording themselves diving in open places and wincing like Neymar. Someone like Lionel Messi or Mo Salah would have been deeply hurt, but in true Neymar fashion, he did just the opposite. Neymar got in on the act too with the help of a group of kids. The Brazilian posted a video of himself counting down from three and yelling, It's a foul! as the children fell to the ground and he laughed. I was joking in the social media video. Since everybody is hopping on the bandwagon, I take it as a joke. I'm not upset. It was just a moment I was with the kids and I decided to do it. Number 7. He skipped the Ballon d'Or to play video games Yep, you heard that right. It appears that Neymar is a big video game lover. He wasn't missed at the Ballon d'Or gala though, as he skipped a measly 12th place finish to stream Call of Duty on the Twitch platform. Of course, it didn't help matters that Luka Modric won on that night, ending the duopoly of Messi and Ronaldo. Neymar was the man widely touted to win it after them, so perhaps he felt a tiny bit of shame for coming so short. Number 8. He wore a skirt Apologies to our Scottish fans and all our skirt-wearing cultures out there, but we had to include this one. In 2019, at the launch of Diesel Fragrance, Neymar stole the headlines with a rather unique suit. Being the main model employed to promote the fragrance, Neymar might have felt that he needed to stand out even more. He wore a sleek black blazer over a black shirt with gold embellishment. And then he forgot his pants. Well, not quite, but he did show up in a bluish skirt baggy shorts. Suffice to say, every head was turned, but not in a good way. Number 9. He was caught on camera playing with his tie while drunk Well, we've all had our fair share of indiscretions under the influence of alcohol, and frankly, this might not have made it onto the list if not for the next weird thing that Neymar did. Number 10. He flew a woman from Brazil to France for sex and ended up going to court for rape Remember the drinking issue we spoke about? According to reports, Neymar arrived at the hotel totally drunk and forcibly had intercourse with a complainant without her consent around 8pm. This version of events was eventually disproved by CCTV evidence and man, are we thankful for that. His friendship and chemistry with Messi at PSG is such a joy to behold. So there you have it, 10 weird things Neymar has done outside the football pitch. Do you feel we've left anything out? Is there another player that you think is more interesting off the field? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.